Newcastle is officially off the supercar schedule for 2024. It's a major development as we eagerly await next year's calendar. I'm Matt Koch, Speed Cafe F1 editor. Here to explain what this all means is Speed Cafe's editorial director, Andrew Van Leeuwen. Hey, Yo, this doesn't really come as a surprise to anyone, but can you put this in some sort of context for us? Yeah, look, it's not a huge surprise, Matt, but it is still kind of sad. I mean, I think that we saw that event come back on the calendar this year after the break from the pandemic. And there was just such a great energy in Newcastle. We had amazing weather throughout the week. Like it actually felt like there was some real buy-in from the community and that, you know, that event was really hitting its straps and it was so well placed as the season opener there as well. And really, you know, checked all the boxes for a season opener for supercars. So I think to lose this event is a massive loss. And obviously street circuits are a little uh, tougher to re-engage compared to a uh, a permanent circuit where the venue is just there and, and if you want and need, you can just do another deal and go racing there again. Uh, Supercars is lucky that it does have what we call its street circuit kit. So it actually owns a pit building and a whole bunch of barriers and all the fences and all the stuff it, it needs. So it's actually the same stuff that you know gets used for the Gold Coast, gets used for Newcastle and all that sort of stuff. So it certainly can be revived at some point. I think it was interesting yesterday that we saw the New South Wales Premier Chris Minns come out and really slammed the council for not jumping on this one-year deal that was on the table um, and said, you know, why aren't you guys doing this? We want this event to happen. So that's obviously a massive step in the right direction. I think time was really just against everybody uh, on this occasion. But I think that those comments from the Premier do hint that there can be a revival of the event when there's a little bit more time to actually make the decision and, you know, get a five year deal in order. That's what the council was saying that they that they were sort of balking at was this was this one year deal. So, you know, I think there is a little bit of optimism that we can get it back. And I think it's something we actually need to get back because I'm not convinced about sort of the direction that we're gonna go for round one. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a political hot potato at the moment, Newcastle, as, as much as anything, as much as a supercars issue so much. But what are supercars options now bathurst has been in the headlines with the 10-day motorsport festival that our colleague daniel herrero broke uh, a couple of days ago is that where we're going for the season opener next year now i would imagine so yes i think that's pretty much where we're going to end up that was a great story by dan to get that one um obviously you know it becomes a 10-day festival because of the fact that there are limits on how many race meetings can be held at bathurst each year and this would be a way of combining the 12 hour and a supercars sprint event and basically calling it one event, even if it was run over two separate weekends. So it's a bit of clever maneuvering by supercars there. Supercars obviously owns the 12 hour as well. Um, I think the Bathurst uh, regional council would probably be, um, be down for this one. Um, I just always, I don't love going to Bathurst twice in one year with supercars. I love Bathurst, happy to go there, love going there for the 12 hour. Um, I think, you know, in 2021, we had the, the Mount Panorama 500 to open the season and Supercars basically said then, well, we don't want to be doing this. This is a one-off. Like this is, that was out of necessity. There was no Newcastle, Adelaide. Um, there was no Adelaide at the time. They had to do something and that's where they decided to go. Um, and we're sort of going back there again. So it feels like a stopgap solution. And I guess that's kind of the big question now. Like if Newcastle can't come back, what is Supercars going to do about a round one? Because we can't just go to Bathurst every year. We, we do kind of dilute how special the Bathurst 1000 is by going and doing a sprint race there, in my opinion. Um, and I think that Supercars needs to come up with a, a another solution for a first round because, you know, I think the way that the series is structured these days, you do need some sort of hallmark event to kick things off. You know, I don't think we can rock up to, you know, no offence to Queensland Raceway or Sydney Motorsport Park or Winton or whatever. Um, I just don't think that really cuts it. So New Zealand maybe could be somewhere that might sort of had that that prestige and that buzz around it to be around one. But yeah, I think the challenge for supercars now, and hopefully we'll get some sort of direction in the next couple of days of whether they do feel that uh, this event can come back. But if it can't, that's a real challenge for supercars. There's lots to chop through. More news, I'm sure, will come out on this, as you say, in the coming days. You can read all about it on Speed Cafe as we keep you across everything that's happening in the world of supercars, Formula One, and, of course, the entire motorsport gamut. On behalf of AVL, I'm Matt Koch. Catch you next time.